Hola mis cuties. Okay, I'll start off with my basic bougie welcome. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to draw my life for you guys. So let's start when I was born. It was on July 14th of the year 1999. Yes, I am a Cancer. For most of my life I lived in a small city called Bonita Springs, which essentially means beautiful springs. I know, right? What a luxurious name! My parents lived most of their life back in their homeland, which was back in Guatemala. I have never visited the country, but one day I plan to, since a lot of my family lives there. My parents immigrated to the United States about 19 years ago, trying to live the American dream. And that was when they met one another and fell in love. Over the years, our family started to grow initially, starting with my parents and my older half-sister. Then I came along, but I really wanted a younger sibling, so my sister came along. Then my brother, then my sister, then my other younger brother, leading to a total of six of us. And of course, pets. Even though I grew up in a Christian household, went to church, and was heavily involved within the church. It's hard for me to even say what I believe in. I remember growing up that I would dread going to school, so I would pretend that I was ill or I would complain, which would help my case because I got to stay home and watch TV and lay in bed. Another reason why I disliked school so much was because I was bullied constantly throughout elementary school up until high school. People would be calling me names such as loser, faggot, gay, and other things. This really hurt my feelings and affected me as a child, which led me to be alone. I intentionally avoided crowds and kept to myself for most of the day while I was at school. Even if school didn't go as well, I was always excited once it was over because I would be able to hang out with my younger sister. We only were a little under two years apart and I would say we were the closest out of all our siblings. We would always stay past our bedtime, often making too much noise, giggling and laughing which ended up and us getting in trouble. Oh well. <laughs> For my middle school years, I went to this school called BSPFA, which honestly was a horrible educational institute. I went to Estero High School and I have plenty of memories to tell, but we'll save those for another day. It's like Miss Boxa would always say at the end of her announcements. Go Wildcats! Rawr. My senior year was a bit rough, and I honestly was lost and I didn't know what I was doing. I was carrying a big secret as well. Ever since I was little, I knew I was different. I wasn't like most boys my age, and I never would be. I didn't know what it was at the time, but living in a religious environment, I was told that being gay was a sin, and that it was bad. So I kept it hidden from my parents and from everyone else, even though some already knew before I realized it myself. But in addition to hiding, I had other things in my mind, like college, anxiety, depression, etc. These things kept building up a lot of negativity inside of my life. Although things were bad at the time, they eventually got better. And I was so thankful that it did. I applied to UCF and later on was informed that I had gotten accepted. So then I moved to Orlando the summer after I graduated. I tried to live by three main philosophies. One. Be kind. You never know what someone is going through. 2. You get what you worked for. Reaching for goals does not take hard work, but it is worth it in the end. And 3. Love the true you. Like RuPaul always says, if you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love somebody else? Now I have occupied myself with starting this YouTube channel, and as far as my journey will go, well, who knows? Anyway, thanks for watching. Keep up with me soon and make sure to like and subscribe and drop a comment below of what you would like to see next. Until next time, bye.